hello, hello. It is time for this week's Dollar Tree haul, and I have some fun things to share with you, along with some ideas that you might want to do yourself. So first of all, I love the adult coloring section that they have, at least in my Dollar Tree. It's like on an end cap, and it's just the adult coloring books. So this one is tattoo inspired, and they have all different tattoos that people might want to get, or that they've already gotten, something similar, or they want to color it in, and they want to see how it might look. But look at their sugar skulls in here. How cute is that? That you can color those in. And they just have a bunch of different pictures. But I have an idea and I love these in here. And I can even do a video and show you what I mean soon. But I thought this coloring book was really, really nice. And I might actually give it to my son's girlfriend. Um, she might enjoy it. So I think I might do that. Then I got this one. And this one is more vintage. And guess what? It came with the pencils too. So I was like really, really surprised to see all the pencils. This one is vintage inspired. So inside are a, a more, you know, like flowers and things like that. I don't really think there's anything um, Victorian. See, like they have like these and, you know, more floral it seems like. But, and some geometric. But I really liked that the pencils came with it and it fits, it stays right on here. So if you're traveling, you just keep the pencil case on there. How cool is this? So this was another thing that I got that I had an idea with. So if you've been to Dollar Tree, you might have noticed they're starting to have these stretched canvas. They have them in different um, sizes and different widths as well. So they have some that are like really flat. The reason that I like these um, that have a little bit of lip on them is because when you hang them to the wall, then they're nice and flush. If you get the ones that are flatter, then they're going to pop out where the nail is at unless you use some kind of an adhesive to stick it to the wall so that's why I chose these but what I was saying about these and I said I can do a video to show you guys what I mean is you could take and paint these okay so you can pick your colors and you can buy as many as you want now some of the girls have done it with mirrors but you can do this project with these canvas as well so you would get as many as you want so say you want to do a picture of four and then what you would do is you would go in and you would pick out, let's do the tattoo inspire. I just want to show you real quick what I mean. You can take and you can pick some flowers or something, something like this, okay? And once you paint the background, you can make a beautiful picture out of the four and kind of put it together. So this is a perfect example. So you can color these all in, you can make a background, and then you can mod podge your different color pattern into four section into a big picture. So all you'd have to do is pick your picture, um, color your pictures, cut them out, and then do the background on these. So say you picked a yellow background or you picked something uh, like a sky blue and you wanted to add the picture on the front. I'm sure you've seen different projects with the Mod Podge where you can take a big poster, you can cut it into four and you can separate the four frames so that you have a nice big picture. So I thought that would be a fun project to do just to separate the pages that you color and Mod Podge them onto your painted surface. So that was one of the ideas I came up with this. But these are fun for summer. You can do finger painting with them with the kids. You can take little beads. You can add like a little beach sunset. You can do like a sandy bottom. You know, they sell the sand in the little tubes. You can do sand. You can do a sky background. You can add some seashells. So there's like a lot of fun things that you can do with these pictures. And I thought those were a fun thing. Now here's something else you can do. This is in four. So this is a perfect example. This is from Dollar Tree. It is a wall hanging, but you can see this side has the bird on it and this side has this. So what you can do is you can take this and you can actually paint the back on this and you can add these, this bird, onto here, okay, and separate these. This would be the top half, this would be the bottom half, this would be the one side, this would be the other side. And you would have a nice big picture that is separated, so you don't put them together, you separate them. And maybe I can do it with this, just to give you the idea, the idea that I'm talking about um, on a video. So it would make a pretty spring picture pattern for your kitchen or something. So that was one of the ideas I came with. Now, I know a lot of you guys do um, summer festivals and things like that. Well, Dollar Tree now, and these are perfect for garage sales too. These 
these are the poster boards, but they're all different shapes and sizes. So say, for instance, you're selling something at a craft show and you want to put a sign up. They have these different shapes and sizes rather than being a standard poster, and they're all ready to go. And check out this one. You can add this to a big poster board. Say you're having a garage sale and you want the arrow to point on your street. So these are really cool, too. And all of these items are like in the... Um, like notebook and pen section there. Then I got another one of these because I really like it. It only lasted through one year, but I put this by my front door. When I open my door, I'm able to see the key lock at night. So it's able, you know, so I can get in easily because I don't have a light above my door. So I thought this was really cool and I got another one because it worked great last year. So I picked up another one, but they were selling fast. I think there was like maybe five left in the case when I got this one. So check those out. I also always, always pick up, we're going to be doing a lot of projects and this is the floral tape. So when we do... Um, different flowers and things over the summer months. You're going to want to pick this up so that you have it in hand. They now sell these little seed beads and the project that I've been wanting to do, we can finally do and you can get the seed beads at Dollar Tree. So they have them in different colors and these are the ones that we're going to be working with. I picked up these because these are great just for crafting alone. They're perfect for the summer outside trimming trees, bushes, stuff like that, but they're great for crafting as well. So you want to pick these up, and these are in the spring section. And I got this guy because I don't know if you've seen online where um, they have the new egg things where you can put your egg in there and you can pack it. Well, these are supposed to be where you can put your egg in there, microwave it, and it's supposed to kind of do the same thing. So I thought I would try it. This is something new that's out. Not sure if your Dollar Tree will carry them, but you might want to give it a try. And last but not least, I got some more pretty yarn at Dollar Tree. Yes! Um, I got these ones. I thought that these would be perfect for some spring projects. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the fairy dolls. Um, sometimes you use um, the embroidery thread, but this is so thin that you could use this for the body of a fairy as well. So I got a few of these. So you want to check because these also sell out really, really fast. And I just wanted to share some of these fun things that I got for spring and summer of some projects. I hope I've given you some ideas and I will see all of you really, really soon. Bye now.